Hi everyone, here's book book number 226. The tale of today's book is Henry and the Kite Dragon by author Bruce Edward Hall. This picture book is based on a true story that happened in, the, in New York in the 1920s. Henry is a Chinese boy who lives in Chinatown and helps a nice old man make beautiful kites. After making each kite, they fly them high in the sky together. But Tony Guglielmi and his friends live in Little Italy, and they keep destroying the kites by throwing rocks at them. Finally, after ruining yet another large, beautiful kite, Henry has had enough. So and so, he gathers up his friends and goes to confront Tony. Henry learns that Tony and his friends are actually not throwing the rocks to be mean, but but there's another reason, reason, which is that they raise pigeons, and the kites are frightening their pets. The kids end up working out a compromise that allows um, them to share the airspace, and they become friends. This book tells a really great and unique story with a really heartwarming ending, and the illustrations are beautiful. It has some really important themes of compromise, tolerance, culture, and differences, and acceptance. And it has some really great messages that can lead to important discussions, such as how important it is to see something from the other per person's perspective, how culture differences can be based more on assumptions than real differences, that things are often not what they seem to be on the outside, and the importance of understanding before judging. What I really love about the story is, is it told is how for the for almost the whole story, the reader just gets the Chinese boy's perspective, which makes the reader side with Henry and just like the Italian kids. Just like Henry, the reader doesn't learn until the end that both sides had a reason to be upset. I think how the story was told is really effective is a really effective way to remind the reader that they also have to get both perspective perspectives before judging. Please donate this fantastic picture book to the library that ACBC is building at Chalk Children's Hospital. Elementary age patients will love it. Thank you.